Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to talk more about Fusion Forms, specifically about star points and kind of how to deal with them. This is something that we did in part 37 of our Forms Mastery series, and we've covered it in other videos before, but it's not really a one-size-fits-all solution. So we're going to cover it again here and maybe try to sort of add a bit more knowledge to the process. So I don't have any download files for you. We're just going to take a look at a couple of examples here that are probably things that you run into. So our first example here is the easiest one. Now, this is where we get a star point based on three edges coming together. And the, the ideal situation here is this model because all of the curvature or all the edges are either running along XY or XZ. And what I mean by that is they're all kind of opposing each other at 90 degrees. The reason that we get this star point here is just basically because we have this one vertice here or a vertex that we pull up and try to create this crazy geometry. Now, the thing that happens is when we have this end god or this face that has five sides or more than five sides, more than four sides anyways, uh, what happens is each of these corners are going to be connecting to each other and they're all fighting for control of the curvature of that face. When we've got four sides, it's pretty straightforward because all the edges are straight. They, they can't twist or bend. So all the edges are straight and it's a much easier mathematical solution. But when we start to add more than that, then we run into problems. So the way that we fix this is, it, it's a couple of ways that we can fix it actually. Uh, the first way that we can fix it is to go to utilities and repair body. And we can convert this star point to what's called a T point just by left clicking on it. When we have a T point in a model like this, essentially what it's doing is it's taking this edge and it's ensuring that this edge is straight. And what I mean by that, it's it's no longer creating a star point because it's it's kind of looking at this problem as if this edge just ends at perfectly a perpendicular 90 degree angle to the other edges. It treats it as one single edge. Now, if this is a solution for you, easy. That's You're done. You can just say okay and be done with it. Um, however, it does affect the curvature. It does look a bit different. Now, I use T-points all the time on different models. Generally, I try to stick T-points anywhere that the edges are already flat, but I want to slowly transition into adding more geometry. And what I mean by that is if I go to insert point and let's say I want to bump this section up here, I would start here and I would kind of work my way back like this and I would leave this front section alone, but I could start to pull these vertices up. So basically what I could do is, is begin to add a little bit of a ridge here. Now, the important thing is I do not affect or move this point right here. So if I'm using T points, I want to leave that front point alone. Now I'm gonna do control Z and, and undo and get rid of that because it's not gonna help with the rest of this conversation. But the bigger thing here that we should identify is the fact that in the middle of this end gone face, we've got that little blue star. Now, again, the reason for this is because all of those edges are fighting each other for curvature control of that surface. And unfortunately, it's too much. So to highlight this problem, we're going to go to subdivide, select everything, and I'm going to make sure I'm using exact because that'll keep the shape exactly the same. And you can now see that when we subdivide these faces up, the, there's a vertex that ends right exactly where that blue spot is. So even though it wasn't subdivided, it was a much lower, a lower poly count or lower face count, that is where that star point is transitioning to and, and affecting that curvature. So how do we fix it? Well, I'm gonna do control Z again. The easiest fix here is to just carry this edge through the rest of the model. And that will take care of that problem because we no longer have that star point. Everything has four edges uh, sort of intersecting at those faces. That again, just like the T point affects the overall shape. So if that's the problem, then generally what I would do is go back and I would subdivide again using the exact option. But then what I want to do is I want to carry these edges down. So I need to delete these ones here and I need to use insert point and just start manually connecting these. It's going to be broken for a while. And when we kind of do this, we, we need to work our way through it. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to just carry the geometry on. And what we've done is we've created an error star point. Uh, the reason for that is because we had a star point and we started messing with it by deleting edges and working our way around it. So Fusion needs to fix it by going to repair body. And all we need to do is click on it and it can heal that. And basically what happens, if we go to, let's go to modify edit form. Let's use the vertex selection filter. When we look at these vertices here, each vertice has a tangency control handle. You'll only see this tangency control handle when you're using the vertex selection mode. But basically what happens when we have a star point in the middle that we start messing with, those vertex handles need to be reset to a point of least tension on that internal surface. And we can do that by, uh, if we have a manually selected, we can use this link tangent handle and it'll go back to its sort of original shape. Um, this looks like it's just maybe a graphics issue here. That's not a big deal, but we can always go to repair body and just make sure. Uh, sometimes those graphics issues are not a problem if we go back into the, like the surface model if we finish form, but for the most part, that looks okay. So again, that was the easiest one to fix. I know we kind of went around a, a couple of different options, but let's move on to this next example here. Now this next example, just kind of a scoop shape, but this highlights the main problem or the main reason where we end up getting these star points. When we have curvature going around the model in two directions, this is the ideal situation. However, in most of these complex shapes, we need to transition to another direction. That means this case, we're gonna go from this horizontal direction and we're moving up and around in the curvature. And what this does is it creates a star point that is not three edges coming together, but five. And this is the one that's the hard one to work with. Now, before we even worry about fixing this, do you actually need to fix this? And the answer to that in most cases is no. Uh, now, I always look at it trying to get the highest quality surface. And I'm going to assume that we're going to make a, a CNC machined version of this thing. And I want to have the, the best, highest quality surface that I have for injection molding or whatever. If you're making something and you're 3D printing it, uh, if you're doing an SLA 3D print, you may notice some problems with star points. But if you're using an FDM machine, you're never going to see it. So you don't really need to dive too deep into it. But if you want to, let's talk about it. So... As we can see here, that star point there is really where this curvature is originating. And when we're looking at a curvature map, don't really get too worried about what you see on the screen. Basically what we're doing here is we're looking at transitions or changes in curvature and the colors represent like a radius of curvature. If we went to principal minimum or principal maximum, what we would want to identify here is the fact that We've got these jumps that are happening around that spot. And if we go to principal maximum and we crank this thing up, um, at some point, you can see the curvature is starting at that point and radiating outwards. And this is the thing that we, we need to avoid because curvature starting at that point is going to be problematic for the quality of it downstream. That's not always the case, but it's just kind of a general statement. The way that we fix problems with five or more edges coming together is by trying to flatten that area out and move the curvature away from it. So if we take a look at this next body here, I'm going to go to smooth display. We do this by adding additional edges and transitioning those sharper curvature changes away from that star point. And the way that we can identify this is by using box display mode. So I'm going to go into box display mode for both of these models. When we're looking at star points, we're, of course, we're looking at multiple faces that come together at a single point. And in this case, we've got five edges. The angle between these faces is really the driver of the potential problem. If we can reduce that angle, it doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly flat. But if we can keep that angle between, let's say, 10 and 20 degrees, you're going to have a much better time with these star points. Uh, you can see this; these two faces are fine. These two are fine. But the transition between these two and then these two 
are in opposing directions and they're basically 90 degrees. So if we look at this thing from a right view, we're almost at 90 degrees between these two faces and we're almost at 90 between these. So one way that we can fix this is by trying to manually reduce that angle and kind of you know stretch it out. That will help when we look at this thing in smooth display, but it's probably not gonna be enough. If we go back to this other model, the way that we fix that is by adding additional edges to transition that angle a little bit slower. Uh, so you can see here, the star point and the angle between all these faces around the star point is generally low. It's a couple degrees, maybe five degrees max. And then the harder transition happens over here where we've only got four edges coming together. So now we're only dealing with the transition between those faces. And that's really what we, we wanna work toward and when we're trying to deal with these star points. Now, I know that this is a tricky topic and no example is ever gonna cover it completely. But if you run into these problems, just remember that when you've got these star points where you've got five edges coming together, try to get any drastic changes in curvature away from them. And when you're looking at a curvature map analysis, try to aim for the curvature around that star point to be this like teal green color. And then any curvature changes happen away from it. If you're dealing with a sort of a star point that is like this one was originally where we were just dealing with three points. And I'm gonna go back into utilities and I'll convert this to a star. So if you're dealing with something like this, this is much easier to fix simply by carrying those edges all the way to the edge of your part or converting them to a T point if that is a possibility. So if you have any more questions on this, I'll do my best to answer them. I know it's a tough topic, but those couple of points there about star points and transitioning curvature hopefully will help in your own models. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.